أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فخلف من بعدهم خلف عضاء الصلاة واتبعوا الشحوات وسوف يلقون غيا صدق الله صدق الله العلي العظيم Recite a few verses which I want everyone to pay attention to. There's been a lot of uproar in terms of what's happening in Gaza, in what's happening in Burma, etc. And I feel that as Muslims, subhanallah, you see all these debates that are going on on Facebook, people arguing, swearing to one another, having opinions, people doubting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking themselves, why is this happening to us? Why is Allah doing this to us as Muslims? Why is He not helping the Muslims? Why is He not allowing us to claim victory over the Yahud, over the Jews and the Christians? Why as Muslims do we have to go through all hardship? SubhanAllah, I found a verse which I just recited. For me, this is sufficient for every single person who is listening into this tape. I want you to really pay attention to this Quranic verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this surah, in chapter Maryam, He's talking about nations which He mentions, the nation of Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ya'aqub, Idris, etc. And then He talks about a nation which follows them or will follow after them, who will waste their prayer or who have wasted their prayer and follows their lust. And these nations or these people will encounter error. So Allah is telling us the two things in which will give us error, which will give us disgrace. And this is sufficient for us to understand why we are in the position we are. As long as we are a nation, brothers and sisters, who waste their prayer, who do not pray, and as long as we follow our lusts, Wallahi, by Allah, the victory of Allah can never come. How can we go and save Gaza, Burma, etc. when we can't even save ourselves? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, save yourselves and your family from the fire. So he first tells us to save ourselves. For what salvation will you find screaming about Gaza, etc. when you then come back home and you do not scream to Allah through the night for help? Who are you going to when you scream? If we scream to the kuffar outside the embassies and then we come home and we don't even raise our hand to Allah, neither do we praise Him, etc. by offering the basic salah, how can we ever attain victory? We know the Quranic ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He will not change the condition of the people until they change themselves. So if you really want change, wallahi, it starts at home right now. If you really want to help Gaza, wallahi, change yourselves and this will be a domino effect. You change yourself, you pray, you start giving zakat, you enjoin the good and forbid the evil, you make awareness, you give charity, sadaqah, you help the yatim, you help the widows, etc. As a woman, you cover up, you stay loyal to Allah, and wallahi, Allah will never disgrace us. If you want to know why we are being disgraced, it's due to our sin. Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu, when he sent out his armies etc. during the caliphate and Sa'ad bin al-Waqas, whenever they will give khutbas to the Mujahideen, they will always say to them, remember we have nothing over the kuffar when they were in battle, apart from the fact that we believe in Allah and they don't. This is what brings victory to the Sahaba radiallahu anhu. And this is what will bring victory to us. If you really want victory, wallahi, victory starts at home. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow me to implement what I preach. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us sincere Muslims, those who offer salah, who offer zakah, etc. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive me for my wrongdoings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant the Mujahideen victory for everything in terms of their doing all around the world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.